Um, I'm also going to, this, this little four wheeler is pretty quick. I say it hits 35 pretty easy with me on it and ride wheelies and blah, blah, blah. But uh, I'm going to swap out the sprocket in there. Um, I think it's a 14 tooth. I'm swapping it to a 10 tooth, actually. Uh, it should drop maybe about at least 10 miles an hour, I'd say. But it's going to give it a whole lot more torque. That way my daughter don't have to get on the gas more when she's on a hill or running or something over. She can, you know, just give, give it a little bit of gas. And the reason I choose to do that is because if she's on a rock or a hill or something and she has to give it enough gas to get going, but once it starts going, I mean, it, it, take, it wants to take off. So uh, we're going to go ahead and fix that. Now, what I'm working on, as I spoke about earlier, was the, uh, the inside sprocket on the engine there. So it's actually a 420 13 tooth. It comes stock with 13 tooth. And what I got was a 10 tooth, 420 10 tooth, 420 10. Uh, it took me, it took a couple weeks to get this in the mail because I had to order it from China. Go figure, right? Maybe one day we'll be able to make our own stuff again. So I got a 42010. I'm going to show you the size difference here. Look at that. Now that, like I said, that's probably going to slow down at least 10 miles an hour. And it's going to give it so much more torque. Um, now, in the original sprocket, it comes with this little uh, clip to hold the sprocket on, basically. It has two screws on it that, that hold the sprocket in. So, if you can see here, I put that on there. It's too big. It's going to be hitting the chain. So, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut the uh, screw holes out basically I'm just going to cut it and basically basically make it a circle and the only reason I'm doing that really you don't I guess you wouldn't have to do that but the only reason I'm doing that is because I want I don't want so much play uh, with the sprocket on the, uh, I don't want the, I don't want a bunch of sorry excuse me guys somebody's got to do it right Anyways, I don't want a bunch of play in here. So I got these, uh, now that sprocket I got came with one, uh, I think they're called a C-clamp or something like that. Not C-clamp. I don't remember what the hell they're called. Snap ring. That's what it is. Snap ring. Uh, it came with one snap ring. And it was kind of, it wasn't easy to get on. Of course, I don't have the right, I don't have the tool, the snap ring tool. I'll just, uh, make it work. You know what I mean? Well, you don't, but you're about to. But what I did do is I bought more snap rings. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to cut this off. Cut these little, cut it to about right there basically. Slide that on. I'm just going to help take care of the play. I'm going to slide it all the way back. And I'm going to put two snap rings in there because... Uh, let me see. If you can see, look how much room is in in between there. I can fit two, maybe even three snap rings in there. That way this thing's not all over the place and whatever. Another thing I did, I, I did, which I'm not going to do exactly right now, is this is the stock chain. I bought a new chain because I heard the stock chains will stretch, which I'm sure they will because they're from China. But I bought a new chain and uh, I bought a chain breaker, breaker as well, which I didn't have to use. This chain has a master link. Um, but if I need to take some links out or whatever, vice versa, uh, the, the chain breaker, the link breaker, uh, help a lot. Anyways, so I just want to show you guys what this looked like after I grinded the bolt holes off. Alright guys, I got the um, snap rings on. I actually ended up putting two snap rings on and that piece I cut and look at that. 
barely any play at all. I just took some pliers and squeezed these together. Ten tooth sprocket, man. I'm telling you what. This this thing, this, this little uh, this little quad right now, it is on a whole nother level. It's basically first gear. I mean, it's got the torque of first gear when, when you go. I mean, you, I barely got to give it the gas. It haul me up the hill easy. Hit it hard. Gas. Don't be scared. There you go. I'm following you. <laughs> 